My name is Julie Siddiqui and I'm the founder of Together We Thrive. So Together We Thrive is uh, an initiative that I've set up, I'm very excited about um, something I've been thinking about for a long time and essentially it's really a network of um, connecting mainly Muslim women together um, to uh, connect with each other locally in Slough but also with women from all over the country um, for mentoring, for training, for personal development, for helping people to navigate the difficult things that they're going through or to get you know, moral support from other women, but also you know, to encourage women to become more involved in maybe setting up a business themselves or looking at something that they've been thinking about for a long time but don't know where to start. So really just a very supportive, positive, uh, proactive, optimistic network of women um, that will be looking to help each other in all sorts of different ways. I only really recently started um, sort of publicly talking about Thrive um, and since then it's really opened lots of doors for me. I think because I'm seeing it as a business, even though I don't see the women that I'm working with as customers as such, they're kind of more like sisters or friends or women that I'm connecting with, but I think if I see it as a business, it's opened doors for me. And certainly what I've really found very helpful already um, has been connecting with people who can make me think about, for example, a business plan or make me think about how I uh, look for the women that I'm supposed to be working with and really kind of you know, niche down, really look at who I'm trying to target because otherwise you tend to sort of think you can be all things to all people. So I think what I found really helpful is having um, people that can guide me in a more business kind of way. Um, and then certainly, you know, having a mentor or business mentor is very helpful because they can just ask the questions that you're maybe not asking yourself and also keep you on track. So I found all of that to be already very helpful. It's only really been a couple of months for me, but I think it's already been brilliant uh, to, to sort of think of things in a slightly different way. I would always say to people who've got a business idea, you know, just do it. Don't overthink it. it. Sometimes I think there's so many of us that just think about things for too long, you know, convince ourselves that we're not the right people for it, or, you know, who do we think you are for having this idea? And I just think, you know, just go for it, but don't then rush into it, get the help, get the right people around you, really figure out what your idea is, but also really importantly, think about your why. Why are you doing it? You know, because when, it's about working by yourself often at the start. You're the one that has to motivate yourself, get up in the morning, think about what you're doing. It needs to be important. It needs to be something you feel passionate about or strongly about or something that really is crystal clear as to why you're doing it. Otherwise, you won't be able to motivate yourself to do it. And the other thing I love doing, um, listening to podcasts for of people who've set up businesses or listen to successful people or people that have, are willing to talk about the mistakes they've made in their life and how they've become better at certain things. Listening to people's life stories, I love that kind of stuff. And reading 
books of you know how to develop myself so I think when when we're starting out it can be very exciting and then you go through different phases where you wonder what am I doing shall I just go and you know get myself a, a normal job or why do I think I can make you success and we talk ourselves out of things a lot so I would just say don't talk yourself out of it you know if you've got an idea it's not coming from nowhere it's coming from somewhere you know tap into it really get some good help around you and go for it.